Hello everyone! I'm having so much fun here today. Easter is my favorite time of year and I am ecstatic that we can get together with our friends and celebrate like this. But do you know why we celebrate Easter? We're celebrating how much God loves us. That's right! The God who created everything from the stars in the sky to the teeny little bugs in the grass. He knows each one of us and he loves us. That reminds me of a song. I'll go get my buddies to sing it for you. Here's Elmer. I don't mean to bug you. to know that God is concerned about every single one of us and he loves me no matter what I've done even though he's taking care of all the people in the whole big world he still cares about little bunnies like me and children like you Jesus wants us to talk to him anytime and he is never too busy for us <laughs> When everyone's in such a rush And nobody takes the time for stuff Like talking to little kids like me It's nice to know somebody who'll be there, we'll be there. To, care. to care And hear my prayer Jesus is never too busy for kids Wherever I am that's where he is. I'm so glad he's mine and I am his. Jesus is never too busy for kids. When I feel 
I don't fit in And nobody wants to be my friend And things are as bad as they can be It's nice to know somebody who'll be there To care and hear my prayers Jesus is never too busy for kids Somewhere in the middle kids, small and tall, he loves them all. Jesus is never too busy for kids, wherever I am, that's where he is. I'm so glad he's mine, and I am his. Oh, Jesus is never too busy for kids. is never too busy for us. God loves even the little children, and he wants us to love each other. The Bible tells us that if we want to love God back, then we should show love to our neighbors. He wants us to love the people who are around us, even if they don't look like us. Your nose is not But when we look deeper There's more that we've got God made us special And now I can see If you're special to him Then you're special to me Love your neighbor When someone helps you Then you'll understand When you love your neighbor Loving means lending a hand Someone who's hurt or in need Maybe it's time to perform a good deed And when you finish you'll find that it's true When you make them feel better You'll feel better too can love our neighbors by helping them, just like God shows his love for us by helping us. The Bible also says that God loves the people of the world so much that he gave his only son, and if we believe in him and trust him, we will not die but live forever with him. His love is so amazing. <laughs> Oh, 
got to love the people, oh, the people of the world, oh, that he gave his only son, Jesus, Jesus. His love is so amazing, like a star ablazing across the universe. King of all creation, squeezing to a baby, he gave. loves us so much that he died for us and then came back to life. He is extraordinary. Now, I want to introduce to you another one of my friends who also loves Easter and loves God. Here is Stan the Magic Man. Good morning, everyone. job. Let's let's let him hear it. Yes, they do. They are so great. And my friend, the, the little bunny, asked me to come here today and show how magic is related to not only science, but church. But first, please let me explain the term magic, because there is, there truly is, a logical explanation of how each and every magic effect is performed. Stan believes in miracles, but only God performs miracles. But now science, one little tiny part of science, deals with sizes and shapes. And I have this red shape in size, and I have this yellow shape in size. And if you look at this a certain way, you might think to yourself, well, Stan, that red shape in size appears to be a little bit bigger than the yellow shape in size. But with a quick switcheroo, right before your very eyes, now you might say, well, wait a minute, Stan. Now the yellow size and shape appears to be bigger than the red size and shape. When in reality, each one of them is exactly the same size and same shape. Here's another way of saying this. What I do is something I call illusion. In fact, magic is only a matter of illusion. Now the dictionary says this about illusion. It is something that just does not seem real. Well, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, I'm about to present to you something I call illusion. And in fact, it tries to address that age-old question. It's been asked of magicians years and years ago, and I'm sure it's going to be asked of magicians years and years into the future. And that question simply is, are the hands quicker than the eyes? I won't tell you whether they are or aren't, but watch what happens with the hands. Here's the front, and here's the back. I'm going to reach out in space and get a hold of something. There, I think I have it all. Are the hands quicker than the eyes? I won't say. 
Well, for heaven's sake, it's quite interesting what some can do. In fact, here we have a red cloth, and here I have a purple cloth. Look at this, everyone. The center of the purple cloth is exactly in the middle. <laughs> of course, the center of everything's exactly in the middle. So if we take the center of the purple cloth and we poke a hole in it, and then we take the red cloth again, well, wait, first let me give everyone a definition of a hole. A hole is absolutely nothing with a rim around the top and a bottom. So if we take the red cloth again and we start to poke it down into the hole, now this let me remind all of you, a hole is absolutely nothing, has that rim around the top and a bottom. Now we're poking it tightly into the nothing, not in this hand. So once we remove the rim and take away the bottom, the only thing we have is a purple cloth and the nothing. And yes, little bunny, there's not getting anything over on this smart group. The center of the yellow cloth is exactly in the middle. So let's take the center of the yellow cloth, poke our hole back in it, reattach the rim on top, place the bottom back on. It should only stand to reason we should be able to reach back down into the nothing, but yet seem to pull out something. Now, are the hands quicker than the eyes? I won't say, but here's what I want all of you to do. I think all the egg hunts are over. So after the puppet show's over and you get back to your homes, simply find yourself a red piece of cloth. Then just work on poking it down inside your hand like this. If you do this tightly and properly, then you should be able to take these two colored pieces of cloth, whisk them by that hand, and before you know it, the red cloth is G-O-N-E gone. Now that's something I call illusion, but something, thank you, but something that is absolutely no illusion is that God loves each and every one of you. Yes, that is to be repeated. God loves each and every one of us. Hey, have a happy Easter, everyone. Thank you, little bunny. Thank you, Stan the Magic Man, for showing us more about God's love. That was exceptional. When I think about how much God loves us, it makes me happy. Our friend, Jesus, who gave his life for us, is no longer dead. It is such a happy day. Now, let's get ready to clap our hands and beat on our drums. Because here is my good friend, Zippy! Did you know, did you know, Jesus is alive today, he's alive today, that's why we say it's an oh so happy day. Jesus is alive!
alive. What a happy day. Well, that's our show. Thanks for coming to see us and have an excellent Easter. Bye-bye.